It's your boy Opsy here, do it to life before life, do it to you, do it to 2021, a whole year of breast cancer awareness and personal growth. It is day 111. I think I got this thing on. Day 111. 111 days, I know some things have changed. I'm still working on other things, other things I'm still working on, like strongly working on some inside game stuff. Hadn't got this thing mastered as far as uh, this one thing, you know, still having that courage to kind of get down into the mix and cut everything away, get rid of old stuff, cut away the dead stuff. I mean, it's, you know, I think it's liberating, you know, I'm inching along, right? I hadn't got the courage yet to do a Marie Kondo, not yet, but. Let's see what we got going on here. Yes. All right. Your boy got out of the gate good. That's good. All right. That was a good transition. So I'm on the uh, interstate. That was a good transition. But I still, yesterday I was so busy that I didn't get a chance to do my one hour at work. Something that when they get around four or five o'clock about a two one or two hours before it's time for me to get off you know it's switching to the off mode it's like that race i was telling you about in a couple of episodes back a couple of videos back and we've been trained to like break the tape but when you get close to the finish line you got to do a cool down you got to do a slow down you know what i'm saying instead of just powering all the way through and I think that's the difference between the uh, the elite and the not elite, or elite wannabes, or future elites. It's being able to just power through no matter what it is. Sort of like, uh, I guess, in martial arts when you make place of a punch, the person that don't know how to hit, don't know that they're supposed to follow through just like with a, with a shot in basketball is to follow through all that's important is through the goal is through the target so I think it's the same at work as well too because I notice I find myself on a lot of projects I get almost done then it like it just fizzles out so that's what I'm working on finishing finishing strong finish finish strong so, we was listening to the one thing yesterday, and it was about how he, uh, a guy had introduced one thing to his teenage daughter. And so, uh, and there was some good attributes in there, uh, you know, because that's what I'm doing. I'm introducing it to my kids. And the main thing is demonstration, which I'm doing. Not trying to beat them over the brow with it. And then just inching along. I ain't got them quite on the calendars yet. They understand the significance of the calendar. But they hadn't been able to grasp the concept of small baby steps. You know, they know that small baby steps is the way to go. It is logical, but they want results quick, right? So you got small baby steps and then you got those that want results quick. So I can't tell. This is better, this is better, probably this is better. So they want results quick. So they start the calendar, stop the calendar. They say, oh, those increments are too slow. But sometimes I'm, I'm the same way, you know. I want results quick. I want to build a, a good fail swoop and it don't happen. So He's talking to his daughter, but the part that I got out of the most, you know, just sitting down on Sundays, you know, the end of the week, I'm doing that right now, planning my week out. Not to the full extent now. See, I ain't gonna delude myself in thinking that I'm writing everything down. Just so that I didn't even get a chance to look at my 411, which is supposed to be the first thing that I, I ain't get a chance to time block, but it kinda worked itself out, right? So now I got to double up the date. That's what I got to do. I got to double up the date. 
So, here's the deal. He asked the girl, she said, you know, hey, what's one thing that you would tell other kids or whatever? And she said, make your bed. So I immediately, I had just got to telling my dog, we just got to talking about that last week. She was saying she had been doing smaller increments. She said, I remember he told me to make my bed, but that just didn't do nothing for me. So now I don't make the bed. So when I heard that, I played that for her last night and she started laughing. I didn't know the guy wrote a book about it, make your bed, some type of Navy SEAL or something. But it's just that small, that small act of discipline in a small area creates what they call the halo effect. You know, it affects you in other areas. You don't know right now, it's just small, it's just a scene. You don't know what it's gonna What in the world? Just a scene. It's kind of straddling the line for some reason. just a scene, right? So you don't know how it's going to affect. You don't know who's looking. Maybe the seed you planted may not be for you. Maybe somebody saw you plant the seed. And maybe they seen how you nurture the seed. And maybe the fruit that come from that seed that you planted is for somebody else. You got to think like that, right? Your ego want to see that immediate fruit. That's why I never planted a fruit tree. I planted one one time. But it did take. I just kind of lost heart. I want a fruit that year. I want a fruit now. You know. Here it is 10, 20 years later. We would have had us a nice fruit tree, right? But anyway, I still might go and get another one, man. It was a fruit cocktail tree. Plus I had several fruits on one tree. You know, one of those graphs. But anyway, so here's the deal. So uh, we talked about that last night, and then also what I'm going to do today, since today is one thing, today is going in and look at my 411, look at my GPS, my time block of time today, go ahead and knock out my big rocks, the most important rocks, which is quadrant two, I'm working on quadrant two today. Those that follow the Stephen Covey, the four quadrants, it's going to be important, but not urgent. That's what I'm going to be working on today. So that my quadrant one, urgent and important, get very small. And I steal that time from quadrants three and quadrants four. And the way I steal it from quadrant three, which is other people, is asking them the question. It's all about questions. Come back to questions. It's something you need right now. They just want to make sure it get done in the next couple of days. That's a good question. That's a good question. So that's what we're going to be working on today. It's one thing, the focusing question is one thing that I can do today. And such by doing it, we make the rest of my week, the things I do for the rest of the week easier, some of it unnecessary. It's got to be my GPS and it's got to be my 411 with the time block. It's got to be. It's your boy, obviously, do it to life before life, do it to you, do it to 2021. Whole year of breast cancer awareness right now. I know I want to work on the mental aspect because I'm thinking about breast cancer. I'm thinking about the thoughts and ideas. So I need to probably find a breast cancer support group or something like that. Maybe partner with them. I'm going in working with the mental the mental stuff of breast cancer patients. Maybe I need to find that. That's a good question, right? Good question. I think I'm gonna go to the next one today. Let's just cruise on through, right? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I need to do. I'm still asking myself the question of the direction to narrow my focus in breast cancer. That's what I want to do. It's something to do with the cancer of the brain, cancer of the thoughts, breast cancer thoughts. Yeah, that's what I want to work on. That's my focus. Breast cancer thoughts. That's what I want to work on. Peace out.